Hello, Internet. Sorry it's been a while since uh, we last uploaded something. Um, just kind of busy. I was actually away upstate, so I didn't really get a chance to do anything. Uh, while I was up there, I finished A Dance with Dragons. And that is what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, I'm going to do a short, like, non-spoiler review, and then I'm going to switch it over to spoiler stuff. And I'll let you know when I'm doing that in case, you know, someone hasn't read it. Um, I mean, it's a big book, and to, you know, you can see that. So, uh, if it's taking you longer than a month to read it, that's there's really no shame in that. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, combined with the fourth book of Feast for Crows, which it would be one, really, book together, um, it works better, I think, as one big book. Uh, but then it would still be weaker than the first three books. Um, just for the fact that the story, with the story in the first three novels, you can tell, I don't know if you can see this, yeah, it's like it's leading towards something, and then all of a sudden we get to this fourth and fifth one here, and everything just, just blows up. And it's everything, then everything once again now has to, you know, lead to something. Uh, the problem is, is I have no idea how in the hell this guy's going to do this. He has about 15 cliffhangers at the end of this book. Uh, most of them which annoyed me. Which is why I probably, one of the reasons I put this book a little bit lower. Uh, also the fact that he really, like, there's about, I would say about three uh, characters in this book that have chapters uh, that, that have maybe about ten chapters apiece. And uh, maybe even more. And honestly, they really don't amount to much. Um, if you looked at it from, you know, I guess the beginning of the book to the end, yeah, they did do a lot, but... Uh, specifically two of these characters, which I'll get into later in the spoiler section, uh, all, you, all you, like, read about is how everything is gonna go wrong, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and then eventually it does go wrong. But I, I didn't need, you know, ten chapters to get to it, I don't think. Um, also, I mean, I don't know, he, I, if I knew for sure that he'd be able to stick the landing, I would say I don't care about the fact that this gets a little bloated. But because I'm really worried about how the hell he's going to wrap everything up with all these major characters all over, like, the continent, I don't know, I really have no idea what he's going to do. Um, but... Uh, I don't mean to rag on the book. It, I really enjoyed it. Martin's still a hell of a writer. His dialogue is fantastic. Um, his detail is great. He still describes food and uh, armor a little way too, a little bit too much, but um, otherwise everything is great. He has all these wonderful like little insights, um, just little sides as what a character is thinking. Um, but. Uh, you know, and it's funny when it's supposed to be funny. It's sad when it's supposed to be sad. Um, so yeah, I, if you um, are trying to get into this series, I would recommend it. Um, but I would say, once you get to the fourth book, prepared for things to back off a little bit and slow down. Uh, if you're ready for that, you'll be fine. If not, you, you know you might be in for a little bit of a rude awakening, because after the third book, which moves so fast, uh, and it's so good to be kind of thrust into the same world, but asked to, you know, uh, instead of going 90 miles an hour, you're asked to kind of go, like, 45 now. And that's what this book, both of these books kind of do. This one, the last like, 300 pages of this one actually does pick up, but, um, still, I don't, it almost felt like a little bit, just too little too late. Um, but, uh, it's still the best thing I've read all summer. Um, I haven't read anything else. That's a stupid thing to say. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, that is my non-spoiler, uh, reaction to this. I'm gonna switch over to spoiler now. By the way, if you leave any comments, try not to spoil anything. Uh, anyone that doesn't want anything spoiled, I would just say don't read the comments, because I'm not going to block the comments or anything like that, so just, just don't look at them if you don't want to be spoiled. Okay, so, shut it off if you don't want to know anything. Shut it off right now. Okay, spoiler section. John, Tyrion, and Danny each have ten or whatever chapters. 
Tyrion drinks too much early on. His chapters were nowhere near as witty as they should have been. He finally got better toward the end. I waited for him the whole book to meet up with Danny. Doesn't happen. Yeah, she saves him in the in the pit. Still, still, come on. Danny sits there and just sits on her ass, basically the whole book, saying like, "Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll marry this guy. Maybe that'll stop it. Maybe that'll stop it." She keeps talking about how she can't look back or she's lost. I'm like, "Yeah, but you're gonna look back eventually. So just fucking get to it." Finally, by the end of the book, she does get to it. And her flying on Drogon was really, you know, nice. But, uh... My god, woman, get to Westeros already. You know, it's been five books. I know, alright, alright, five... Really, four, if you count this as one big book. But you gotta get there. I mean, if she doesn't land in Westeros and wins in winter, I'm going to be upset. You know, she hasn't landed. The White Walkers haven't, you know, patrolled the wall... Oh, speaking of the wall, yeah, we have a new major death of the uh, series, possibly, which is uh, John. Uh, the all of his like twelve chapters, you you just you knew it was something was coming, uh, something bad, and then when it did, I mean, if John's dead, that's that's pretty bad. That that hurts. That hurts uh, a lot. Um, but I almost think that if Martin sticks to it and actually keeps John dead, I might have more respect for him for doing it. Um, but I'm a little worried he's gonna just resurrect him and, you know, I don't, I don't want these too many people resurrected. We already got, you know, Catelyn walking around at Stoneheart. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see, what else? All the Theon chapters are great. He has a great arc, but again... Everybody's got a cliffhanger, and there are cliffhangers left over from the fourth book. By the way, don't give Jamie one chapter if all you're gonna do is, you know, get Brienne to bring him over to see. You know, come on, come on. All right, I don't want to be too whiny. Oh, by the way, Cersei getting uh, walking across like King's Landing was great. Uh, that was great. Uh, you know, the Winds of Winter really, honestly, the Winds of Winter really should pick up because. We got Victarion Greyjoy landing somewhere in Mirren. Something bad's gonna happen with that. We got Theon and Asha and Stannis and the Boltons. All that shit's going on. Jon got that letter, but uh, who knows about that letter. All the Martells are now gonna be met with by, what's his name, Connington and the younger, the Targaryen uh, kid. Uh, they're also gonna, you know, I guess defeat Storm's End at the same time. So we got that happening. Plus, you don't know how Dorne's going to react to Quentin being dead, so how are they going to react to Daenerys? Because the dragon killed him. Uh, Danny's with the Dothraki. She's got her dragon. She finally looked back, and now she's going to move forward. Hopefully. Uh, I don't know. The White Walker thing, that's kind of been stagnant for a while. Bran, thank you. Three chapters. You've got to be shitting me. Three chapters? That's all we get? Uh, but he's like the new, th he, you know, met the three-eyed crow, and now he's some war. He's like in every tree. I don't know where he's going with that. Uh, what else? What else? Might be leaving something out. Um, but the more I think about it, he set the stage well for these last two books. But he has a lot to do in order for it to pay off. A lot to do. And I'm a little worried about it. Um, I look forward to these books. I hope it doesn't take them five, six years. I was lucky that I read these books all at once. So, um, my laptop just shut off. Uh, so, you know, this was a different experience for me than I'm sure for some people that had to wait years. Now, I, I am in that boat now that I have to wait years for the next one, which sucks. But uh, we got Game of Thrones on HBO. Uh, season 2 starts in April. You know. All right. That's all I got. Let me know what you thought. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. If you're gonna, again, if you're gonna leave comments, uh, try not to make them spoilerish. Uh, if they are, then they are. You know, don't look if you don't want to know. Okay. All right. Later, internet.